Good morning, Facebook fans. I am here live at the Sea Air Space Expo. And joining me this morning, I have none other than the Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Richardson. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing great, Amberlynn. Thanks. All right. Well, thanks for joining us here today. We wanted to talk really briefly about what you talked about this morning in your panel, which was specifically partnerships. Right. Where do you see them being the most advantageous across the globe? Why do they matter? Well, I think that partnerships matter because they're going to allow us all to team together and use our collective resources to solve some really challenging problems. And so our Navy is much more strong when we see ourselves as as partners with other people, partners in industry, partners in academia, research and development, and certainly international partners as well. And so, you know, by having those conversations early on where we can define our problems, come up with solutions, combine forces together, that's where I think we can do that. And, you know, where would they be most advantageous? Well, they'll be best when we think about what new gear we want to bring on, where we want to operate, uh, establishing regional security, really just about everywhere we operate. All right, and you touched already a little bit briefly, but here we have uh, our partners where we've got the defense leaders such as yourself, and then we have industry gathered here today. Right. Why do events like this matter, particularly when talking about those partnerships? Yeah, well, certainly there's the formal program, right? So we uh, just participated in a panel with the Commandant of the Marine Corps, the Commandant of the Coast Guard, and then my classmate, uh, uh, the Honorable Mr. Janikin, for he, he represents the commercial sector of of the Merchant Marine, uh, and you know all of that goes together to combine to do maritime security. Um, but you know our asymmetric advantage, our special uh, sauce, if you will, the secret ingredient, is the way that the U.S. Navy can combine with industry and combine with other defense leaders. Uh, have those important conversations not only in the structured events but also on the sidebars, right? And you can come to uh, those, you know, solutions that maybe you hadn't considered before. And so I think it's a really, it's a great event because it brings so many of those different teams together. And speaking of solutions, I know this morning you really talked about innovation and right. why innovation matters. Yeah. For our sailors that are watching this on the Navy's Facebook page, what do you have to say to them? What should they take away from this symposium and about innovation? Okay. First of all, if you're watching this, I can't even believe I'm talking on Facebook Live. So that is very innovative in and of itself. And it's, th it's things like this. And the magic really happens when we can bring some kind of a new idea or a new piece of gear out to the fleet and put it in the hands of sailors. And then learning really starts, right? We've also had a number of sort of innovation jams where ideas have come up from sailors, right? And so you know out there in the fleet what we need to do most urgently. You know where you have all the good ideas. You know where we can get better because you're, the sailors are the ones operating the gear. And so I just encourage you to provide all of that information to us. And if I see it, you can guarantee I will, I will act on it, okay? And we'll do something about it. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Sarah. I know you're extremely busy. Thank you for your time. Okay. And for our fans out there, be sure to join us the next three days. We'll be broadcasting live from the Sea Air Space Expo. We'll, Expo. we'll see you then.